Man, it is good to be back <sighs> making videos again. Anyways, um, hi there. Uh, sorry for my, uh, absence. I've just been... You know, I don't really have a good excuse, actually. <laughs> I've just been gone for a while. Uh, so... As this little makeup video for this, I'm... Y'all like video games still? Yes? Well, today we're gonna be checking out my retro video game collection. Now... I'm pretty sure some of you might have spotted this shelf. You might have seen it in a couple videos of mine. And that shelf over there is where I keep all my retro games. So let's... Let's check the games there. First off, we have... The NES Collection. I know, right? A 13-year-old of now having NES games? <laughs> But anyways, let's get into it. So first off, we have the classic Super Mario Bros. and Duck Hunt pack. And this is the only NES game that actually comes with the sleeve, so that's pretty cool. Uh, let me just put this right here, I guess. Next up, we have um, Mega Man 6. Um, this is probably the most surprising one in my collection, as this is a... This is not that common of a of an NES game. I mean, sure, it isn't the rarest NES game of all time, but it's definitely not a uh, common. Um, by the way, this cartridge costed me as much as a new game. Next up, we have Major League Baseball. <laughs> Um, the only reason why I own this, even though I never play it, is because it's owned by LJN. As when I started, um, retro gaming collection, collecting, I was watching a fuck ton of angry video game nerd. That, that, he's one of the main reasons why I started collecting. And if you know the angry video game nerd, you know his, you know his worst enemy is LJN. So, I... Decided to pick up this game solely because it's LJN. And it's a mediocre sports game. <laughs> Next up we have another classic. Legend of Zelda. Unfortunately I don't have the gold cartridge version. Which is kind of sad. But hey at least it's cool. At least it's cool that I own this good game. Um, fun fact. I actually have two NES's. Uh... I don't have both of them at this area right now, but I do have one I can show you right now. Uh, over there, you might see that. That's the NES Top Loader. That's the one that I currently use. Anyways, moving on. Uh, Kung Fu. Yeah, Kung Fu. Y'all ever played this game before? It's pretty. It's a pretty fun beat-em-up. Um... I have nothing else to say other than it's Kung Fu. It's it was a launch title. It's a classic and it's fun. It, some this is one of the games I play um, when I have like a stressful day and I need to do something with my fingers. Next up is Joust. Um, never played this uh, because I just never got to it. Um, but Joust is basically Balloon Fighter before Balloon Fighter, so... And I played Balloon Fighter before, so I'm not missing much. Next up is Jackal. Probably one of my favorite NES games. Uh, this is a really, really fun game. Uh, basically, you play as a jeep, like, shooting other things, like army tanks and, and like, Soldiers, and fun fact, you can actually run over the soldiers. This is a pretty violent game for uh, the time, uh, but I still think it's fun. And fun fact, uh, one of my friends, um, who is also in my family, uh, yes, I do have a family member as a friend, judge me. Uh, this is his favorite game on the NES, so that's that's pretty cool. 
Uh, and lastly, we have Blaster Master. Classic. Classic game. Uh, this is a fun platforming shooter game. Uh, oh, fun fact here. Let me just uh, do this. Okay, uh, I'm going to really need to reorganize these. <laughs> These were the first four games for my NES. Uh, back then, I didn't have an actual NES. I used a replica console. It's here somewhere. I, oh, it's all the way up there. Yeah, yeah, here, let me show you. This is it right here. It's this. So yeah, so that's the NES games. Let's move on to Sega Genesis. Now here I have all my Sega Genesis games. I only have half as many Sega Genesis games as I do NES games. And the only unique one besides the Sonic Trilogy is Biohazard Battle. Uh, oh, and by the way, uh, these are all boxed mint condition with their manuals. So that's pretty cool. Uh... So yeah, this is the only unique one, and then the Sonic ones. This is actually the Not For Resale Edition, which is a, I think, rare copy of Sonic the Hedgehog, or more common, uh, I, I don't know, uh, leave a comment down below uh, which one's which. Uh, but yeah. See, like I said, uh, Not For Resale comes with the manual and all that, so that's, that's cool. And there's also, like, promotional material for, like, other Sega Genesis games. Uh, so that's something. Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Now this, this, um, even though this is, even though I have very few physical Genesis copies, I have played many Genesis games on emulators, and I can proudly say this is my favorite Sega Genesis game of all time, bar none. This is the best. Absolute best. I could play this every single day. And before you ask, what's my favorite NES game? My favorite NES game is um, Super Mario Bros. 3, but just like um, with a few... Uh, consoles. I only played it on emulators and Nintendo Switch Online. Don't judge me. I know you have as well. Um, and the last game I have is Sonic the Hedgehog 3, with, which is the only Red Genesis case game I have. And for some reason it has this. I don't know why, but yeah, it has that. Um... No, I, I'm not even bothering opening. You, you get the gist. Uh, so yeah. Um, I would say let's move on to PlayStation games, but I only have one PlayStation game. So yeah, like I said, I only have one PS1 game, and that game's Final Fantasy VIII. Uh, never played it. I probably don't have plans on playing it anytime soon because I don't have a PS1, but I do have a PS2, but it's not currently working right now. Um, so, yeah. Let's move on to N64. So I have, unfortunately, only three N64 games, but that's because um, this is my most recent console I got, so uh, that's why I have very few games. At least I have an excuse. Um, so I... But I do have three great games for the N64. Um, starting off with GoldenEye 007. Uh, fun fact, this along with Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, these two games were actually games my dad grew up with, and, and now I'm currently playing them today. So that's pretty cool. And the other game I got, miscellaneous game I got, is Super Smash Bros., uh, the original Super Smash Bros., which I did not expect to get. It's, I thought it was more of a rare game, but no. I mean, it is pretty expensive. It's, 
it was $36 for like the loose cartridge, so it's not incredibly cheap. Uh, don't mind the mess back there. Um, uh, yeah, but hey, at least the cartridge is in mint condition. Let's move on to PS2 games. Um, so PS2 isn't a console I, I usually play, but I do own games for. It's one of those consoles, um, that I have, but let's just, yeah, uh, World Rally Championship, never played, uh, but, and it's not really that great in condition like that, yeah, not, not the greatest, uh, yeah. Uh, NBA Street Volume 2. Again, another game I haven't played. Uh, and probably never plan on playing because, like I said, my PS2 doesn't work. Next one is Kingdom Hearts 2. Um, this one is actually never open. It's in its original ceiling and... Uh, I, I just like it. It's pretty cool. I heard the Kingdom Hearts franchise is pretty good. Uh, am I going to play it anytime soon? No, but... Uh, yeah. Ne next up, uh, God of War. Uh, don't know why I own this game. I heard it's good, though. So... Take that for what it's worth. Um, and lastly, are you smarter than a fifth grader? Make the grade. It's an are you smarter than a fifth grader game. I have one on the DS that I have played. Um, it sucks. So, yeah. Anyways, let's move on to GameCube. So we have GameCube games here. Uh, so yeah, let's go through them, even though I've only played one of them. Super Monkey Ball. I remember playing this in the arcades, and and I was really frustrated. Super Mario Sunshine. For some reason, for some reason, when it was given to me, it didn't come with the disc. So it's just a so it's just the cover. How do you lose the disc but not the cover? Uh, Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. Uh, this is a player's choice edition, so that's pretty cool. It's also bestseller edition. Um, yeah, it's, it's Paper Mario. I heard this is the best one, I think. And lastly, we have the original Animal Crossing. And this is the one that I've actually played. Um, because, you know, it's fun. Anyways, let's move on to the portable games. The reason why I put all the portable games into one category is because, I don't know, it seems much easier. So yeah, I'm going to be going in a release date order. Well, actually not release date order, console order. Like, when the console was released. Yeah. Uh, the only Game Boy game I got is Primal Rage for the Game Boy. It's a fighting game on the Game Boy, so of course it's shit. Uh, that's the only Game Boy game I own. Uh, I have five Sega Game Gear games. So, let's um, get to them. Uh, first off, Jurassic Park, never played. Uh, secondly, Itchy and Scratchy Show, also never played. Um, Sonic 2, also never played. The reason why I've never played um, any of the of my Game Gear games is because my Game Gear currently isn't working right now. Um, it was sent to me not working, so that sucks. Uh, and these two, Stargate and Super Space Invaders. Well, we blew through those pretty quickly. Let's move on. Uh, the only GBC game I have is Super Mario Bros. Deluxe. That game's fun, so that gets a pass. Uh, next up we have, I only have three GBA uh, games. 
Uh, Namco Museum, it doesn't work. Santa Claus Saves the Earth, I bought it because because I wanted it in my collection because I because I heard about it being terrible and stuff and I played it and yep it does live it to its name of being terrible and Super Mario World Super Mario Advance 2 that one's fun and that was my entire retro game collection I know it's not the most expansive but I do like how I'm able to have multiple consoles so I can able to play these games physically because to be honest every um, nowadays it's all about digital and I, I think that kinda ruins the magic the, the whole thing about digital is that it's like you always have access to it and it's just you, you can't own it in pla you can't like own it physically and like it's just not fun like, physical, however, you get to keep it and preserve it um, for yourself. And that's why I love retro gaming so much. I just think there's a magic to it. Um, but anyways, let, I'm going to end the video before it gets sappy. Um, I am Toasty, and I am going to be signing out.